Um, good afternoon everyone welcome welcome to this live stream broadcast of mine good afternoon um welcome if you are here let me know in the comment section talk to me give me some heart share the broadcast you know um so that other crafters can get the information also talk to me talk to me um I will linger a little bit for more people to come in for you guys to join so that I can start and I hope you're having a great Thursday a great day today I am I'm having a great day today I couldn't come live yesterday because I had to take my my toddler to the doctor and you know with kids from one thing to the other and to the other so um I was too tired and um, how can I say it was a whole road trip with the whole family and everything so I I couldn't make it yesterday okay but here I am today welcome welcome let me know in the comments who is here talk to me how are you doing how are you doing today come join me Ooh, let me see if I'm in the right place Come join me this afternoon. Come and talk to me. Today, today, um, I'm going to talk about why, why, why your business needs a digital product department. Um, um, even if you, if you're, if you're not planning to create digital products, listen to what I have to say today from uh, my experience. Let me know in the comments. Who is here? Talk to me. Say hi in the comments. Give me some heart. Say hi in the comments. Let me know who is here so I can uh, um, um, talk to you and name you and, and see your name and see who is here. Talk to me in the comments. You know, hi, Tonya. How, Tonya, how are you doing? welcome welcome yeah um today i want to talk about um why your business needs a digital products department that's how i call it dpd digital product department why you need it especially in the time we are living in that's what i'm going to talk about today um i'll, I'll give you my experience with digital products um i'm an immigrant I came. I come from South America. I came here with my husband, and we built a family here. Okay. Okay. Very, very good. I love it. I love. It. <laughs> yes, I love it. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Yes, I love it. I give you my 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 experience here. And when I came here, I start. I I was blogging in the beginning. Yeah, I was blogging, and I and I uh, I made some money with blogging, not too much money because I didn't really know how precious it was if I kept going with blogging. I, I still have the blogs up. Sometimes I see like twenty one cents and stuff. But I I I I, I was blogging in the in two thousand and ten, and I I had AdSense like digital AdSense and stuff, and then I started selling um on eBay. I started physical products on eBay and then I got interest in sewing I start sewing and then I saw that I could sell my sewing patterns like the digital part sewing patterns on Etsy I was selling my my the things that I was sewing plush animals on Etsy and I sold the patterns like um, embroidery for embroidery files like for eyes and for other things I sold them on Etsy and then, um, I, and then I, because, uh, how can I say it? When I sold the patterns, the, 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 the embroidery files and the patterns, the sewing patterns, when I sold them, like if I sold like, um, 10 sewing patterns in a day, it would cover, it would cover my, 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 the sewing, like the sewing, uh, the, the thing that I would make for that day to, to sell the, the sewing, um, the items, the plush animals. And I saw that. The digital was was covering for my for my physical product, so I didn't have to uh, uh, sue so much. I could 
teach what I know, like um, the designs, I could uh, create the designs, like the patterns, and then sell them, and it would cover for me. And then I started looking for more um, digital products, other ways of digital products. And then I found SVG, and I said, hmm, I've never heard of SVG. What is that? What is SVG? And I went to Google, and I searched, and I read, and I searched, and I read, and I went to YouTube, and I searched, and I read. But when I was making the files, uh, uh, somebody told me about the pattern, the swimming pattern. Someone told me about Inkscape. So I downloaded the Inkscape for the swimming patterns. But I never knew Inkscape was doing file, SVG files. And then I, I, I went to YouTube, and I studied Inkscape and, and, and how to do the SVG files in there. And I was practicing like every day. I was practicing, 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 making, practicing, or, or, or putting things together, you know, or, or looking for ways to change things. Although I, I studied it. And then I opened an Etsy shop. Let me tell you, I, I'm telling you, I'm an immigrant and I'm looking for ways to make money. I, I, and by those, and in those times, I was pregnant and having babies and all those and and I had my sewing work too, so I did not have too much time to always uh, uh, um, create physical products like sewing and all those stuff. And I, I told you, I, 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 while I sew, I was selling those things. I was still selling on eBay, you know, sell secondhand stuff on eBay. And then I, um, and then I was, uh, um, and then I started selling. Let me tell you, I started selling Disney, like Disney, Mickey Mouse, and Minnie Mouse SVGs. And at that time, I didn't really know things about copywriting and all those stuff. And and there was one one pe- one person in the sewing um, in the sewing community told me that she heard about someone else that they caught. She was selling, she was sewing mini um, Disney products and stuff. And there was a Disney product, and then uh, uh, um, I'm telling a story. I'm saying then and then all the time. Yeah, she was selling Disney product, and said they took her. They took her. It was a her or her his. What is that his? I don't know anymore. They took this person's sewing machine. They took their computer. They took everything she was using. That person was using to create the Disney products. And I thought by myself. If this, if you're suing Disney things and they come after you, what about if I'm selling SVG files? And then I, sh- I stopped selling SVG files. I had, I had um, 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 bestsellers. I even turned Minnie Mouse into, I even turned Minnie Mouse into, um, into Afro Minnie Mouse. I was so, uh, so I was so, um, um, how could you call it word? Obsessed. And then, then I, I left, it, and then I started drawing little girls, little black girls, because I didn't see SVGs of them on, on Etsy. And I started um, um, drawing women. They were ugly in the beginning, I can tell you. They were so ugly. Sometimes I forgot to put the eyebrows. They were ugly. But still, they sell. They sold. Because there were no uh, um, Afro, African, African-American uh, SVG women on Etsy. And still they sold, they sold, and then people started giving me suggestions. So I let your your, your lady should smile. They had stiff faces. They they were ugly, but they sold. And then I I um I keep going, I keep going, keep going. And that was in 2017 to 2018. And then 2018, I I um um I created the little girls peekaboo like they were peeping from behind like behind the window like with their hands like this and with their faces looking and um i created that and it went viral it went viral i'm telling you i'm sitting right here and i'm telling you believe what i tell you and that those images they were two girls one with uh, two afro puffs and one with a big afro i still have them and they went viral and when they went viral I would I would sell f- my files my 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 files would sell like I made five thousand dollars a month on Etsy only from those files. I can I can even show you the how do you call this thing? I can show you the the where am I? 
Mm. Where am I? Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. The, st- the statistic of, of those files. Am I in the right place? Let me see stats. I'll show you the stats. Mm. No, not here. I'll show you the stats of those goals. The money that I made with them. Um, how do you call it again? What is her name again? No, let me just write pick up. I mean, my Etsy right now. I'll show you. And I made a, and, and people started making backpacks with them. Backpacks, and it went viral, viral, viral. see where I am don't do that mm-hmm. I'm going to show you let me I'm going to flip my screen oh this thing is crazy look you see this girl here is the first pickup boy I made look how much I made with it um and then you have them here double here and here look how much i made it and i have I have other ones too yeah other ones too i was let me turn around yeah i have other ones too i was selling uh, uh, uh like uh, yeah i had those and then i try and i turned them into bo- i turned I, I created boys too and i started selling the boys i had um uh, yeah, I started selling, 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 and then I turn around and uh, I have a son here. My son is twenty, and he drew for me in that time, and he drew for me some um, um, a lady holding a mug, like she was drinking. A lady holding um, holding a mug, and um, oh yeah, yeah. And after I did the pickaboo, so many people starting doing it. black girls pickaboo, black girls pickaboo. All the the Chinese took over everybody's drawing pickaboo and all those stuff and and i said oh that that, that 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 was a nice experience yeah all everybody draw draw them uh, yeah and it went viral it went really really far until now people love them people love the pickaboo files and then i drew a lady with her with a, um, a mug let me see if i have her here um, okay let me see um, let me turn my screen down all around okay this is the just the faces and look how much money i made from them all my files they make money they would make money just from um like this is let me see if i can find her and i had this one to make me a lot of money and this one I split her in two one with glasses and one without glasses yep they sell um the lady with glasses let me look for her um Lee Elsa mug mm-hmm. yeah this I actually here's where I cut her she was uh, she was taller you know I cut her they make money they make money she was taller let me see she was taller where is she I would cut her and, and change the hairstyles. All the yeah, here she is. And I would change the hairstyle. So all of them would make money. I had men. Yeah, she she make money. Yeah, okay, that was my that was drawing. Yeah, so I I I sold a lot of and and when my thing is sold like that i went viral i was able to to me and my family were able to get a brand new fan like a family fan we had a car before but selling those files like this we we were able to purchase like a brand new family fan for us so i said oh no i need to i need to work on this we need to work on this more so i i let me see and then that's when i had the etsy and then I started selling files on my website, and then I um, 
I worked with um, Sawgrass uh, to create files for their uh, creator studio. I worked, yeah, Sawgrass. Um, I sell, I sold on Design Bundles. I still have my shop there. But I also worked with Design Bundles. That's this year. I work with Design Bundles um, to for the, how do you call this thing? The Plus, Design Bundle Plus. Yeah. I, 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 most of the black images that you see in there when you go in the plus place, little girls, pick up girls, pick up, I don't, I don't have boys, but pick up girls, little black boys and little girls, Rasta man, uh, things. I drew all of that for them, for that, uh, uh for their, uh, software and for their company and they're selling it. So, um, and, uh, in 2018, no 19 yeah 19 I started working with a uh, silhouette studio design store silhouette design st silhouette studio design store yeah silhouette studio store. okay I will tell you uh, what the benefits are no I don't pay ads I do not pay ads if I'm selling afro things uh, black people I put afro African American I put all things about black. Yeah, but everything that will refer to black, I put in it. African-American. So you can go to the, um, how do you call this thing? The search bar and put Afro in or African-American and see what comes. Or say African-American SVG or Afro SVG and you will see everything that comes. You can also go to the other files that you see and uh, look at their... Um, how do you call it? Look at uh, what they wrote in their titles. Most of the time, that's what I did. I, did, I don't really copy the whole title. I When I uh, um, look for Afro SVG, write it down. Excuse me. I write it down. And then I I look for the two like two to three first listing that comes up without ads. Not the ads. Just the blank one. And I go in and I pick words from them. And I add them to my to my listing if the thing that i'm selling is also afro yeah i let i use my tags tag tags t-a-g i use my tags mm -hmm. yeah and from time to time i run sales like some percent um like 25 percent uh off of my my files and one of the things too because i I create my my images from scratch like I sit and draw them that's why I do not have like like how do you say um, 375 no 75 percent like when someone faces like that I don't have those images because I'm not strong with that I'm strong with the front and with the side like the side and the front because I duplicate everything duplicate this to here the nose to here the lips to here the ears I duplicate everything so I I'm not strong with like files like this 3d and 75% so because I create my files from scratch that's why I also copyright register them with um, copyright uh, .gov yep I register them so when someone um, messed up with my file like selling the digitals, I will send a cease and desist. Okay, that's for another part. Okay, let me um, uh, talk about the the benefits of selling SVG files. And let me tell you right here now. Text SVG files, text SVG, like words SVG, is the easiest is the easiest digital product to sell. Text is the easiest. I'm telling you. Maybe you're not. You're not. Uh, 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 you you don't know how to draw, but you see, text SVGs are the easiest to create and sell. Okay, let me tell you about uh, uh, the the benefits about selling SVG files. For instance, if if um, you're only selling um, physical products, and you get COVID, or you you get another you, you're sick. We we're not hoping that. Uh, emergency you're sick and uh, uh, um, 
you get an order for 10 shirts, but because you're so sick, you can't work on your, your order. You lose that money, you won't get that money. If, you, if people know that you have COVID, they won't order from you. That's another part again. You can't. But if you had SVG, or if you had a digital product selling for you, that you would be making money. Even if it's not SVG, if you're selling uh, uh, templates, uh, uh, um, coloring pages, if you're doing print-on-demand, print-on-demand belongs to... Uh, and to, to us here, we don't have those companies, but to us, print-on-demand is a, is a form of um, digital products because when you upload your design on there, you're not the one who is um, filling the order. So we, 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 we consider it as a digital product. Print-on-demand. Yeah. Uh, so when, if you're sick, you can't, uh, uh, um, you can't make physical products. You can't fill orders for fill orders. If, uh, uh, if you have an emergency, for instance, uh, a family member uh, um, is deceased and all the stuff, you have to be there and stuff. You cannot, and like mentally, you're always you're also not there to 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 fulfill uh, physical orders. If you have digital products, they will make sales for you. And uh, uh, um, uh, even if if even if you have fifty shirts to do, even if you didn't make all the 50 shirts you're gonna get the money but uh you can you can uh, um you can count on even if 25 percent of that money will come in uh, uh, through because of digital products if you digital products uh, that uh, a certain process will come come in that day if if you have to move and you have to pack all your your things you have to you know to box all your your machines your your craft supplies you cannot fulfill orders. You can't. Your digital products that are on Etsy or on your website or wherever platform you're selling can be making sales for you while you're in that process. If uh, uh, um, if you have to move, like for instance, you have to uh, be somewhere, even if you're evicted, they evict you from where you live. Your digital products can be selling. We don't hope for that. Even if your house burns down, we do not hope for that. But things happen. We don't want that to happen. Your digital products are on Etsy and they are, uh, uh, how do you call it word? Is it cost effective? I don't know how they call it word. It's an English word. I speak Dutch. Uh, um, 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 even if your, your house burns down, your digital products might be selling for you. That's, that's the benefit of it. So, like I said, you can sell classes. You can sell um, templates. You can sell SVG files. You can sell coloring pages. You can do print on demand. You can, I don't sell a lot of people do. They, some people make worksheets and, and they sell those different things. Some people come, oh, I, I bought a class. And when I purchased that class, I thought I would have worksheets and all those things. The lady just came just like I'm him here. And she talked and talked and talked and talked. Actually, the first time I saw the class, I said, what is this? But after I took the, her class, she sat and talked. After I took that class, I said, yes, I got what I wanted. I paid $20 for that class. I said, oh, yeah, I got what I wanted. So simple. People come and sit and, and, and they, 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 they encourage you for something. And you pay them twenty dollars. It's a digital product because they can sell that video over and over and over. And that's that's why you should have a digital product a department for your business. You can sell it over and over and over when you create it. Some of these I some of these files I have created them since two thousand seventeen. I, I the ugly ones I, I I think I have one of the ugly ones left. But I need to find it. Yeah, since 2017, I've I created them. But they are still selling. 2018, they're still selling. 2019, they're still selling. And yeah, they're, they're still selling because I don't have to create them again. When I create them once, they're still selling. They go, they go. And like I told you, the easiest um, 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 digital products to to me, and I see that too because that's why it's, it's, it's so much on Etsy, to create and sell is the text svg file text svg you can use enscape you can use um adobe i wouldn't recommend adobe because you need to pay for it monthly you can use enscape because enscape is free and if you have silhouette studio 
you don't know how to use Inkscape, if you have Silhouette Studio Business Edition, you can use Silhouette Studio to create uh, um, text SVG because you are uh, able to save it as an SVG and as a PNG. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Let me see what else I have to say. I encourage you, even if you're selling, uh, some people are selling um, Photoshop, tem Photoshop templates. You can even sell those Photoshop templates. Let me tell you, um, last um, last month, was it last month? May. I opened a new shop in December, and I sold like Christmas SVG on it, and then I left it because I was busy with other stuff, and then in May, I saw that um, they were they were like a little only a little bit. Uh, items listed for graduation stores like templates for people to work with and what's this thing and this uh, let me get it templates for this people were selling the the physical ones but they were not selling the templates and I went into my silhouette studio and I created a lot of um, store, graduation store templates. Graduation store templates and graduation, um, how do you call it? Fan templates. Yeah. Store and fan templates. I had some Photoshop in, in, in yeah, I created them. The money that I sold with all this was I, I felt so fulfilled that I sold the digitals I didn't go for the physical like pressing the physical and selling them I would have to use ink and and, and, and the stole I, okay I was I sold the blank so I knew I, I would I would have to use electricity and all those things but the money that I sold with those uh, graduation store templates and those templates wow I was happy that I didn't go for the physical ones because I I made a lot of money. I made a lot of money. With a physical one, I would go and sit and put your picture for you and fix your picture. And maybe you didn't like it. And I would do this. And I would have ghosting maybe. And I would then, mm -mm. I went for the digital because I saw that they didn't have. And I sold. I saw, I was so happy. I was so happy. I was so happy that I did that. So um, um, there are different digital products that you can sell. But please, please, please. Create one for your company, for your business. Do not only focus on physical products and running, you know, buying things and uh, uh, buying from abroad. All those things are good. But digital products. Facebook is a digital product. Facebook is a digital product. Adobe, Photoshop, and all those things, they are digital products. Uh, Google is a digital product. Um, 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 Microsoft, all those things, Microsoft, um, 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 all the apps you're using are digital products. All the things, most of the things that we are using are digital products. And we pay for them. And we, we use them to create physical products and we don't think, hey, let me, uh, uh, let me create a digital product to sell on the digital products that they have. Things like Shopify, website, all those things are digital products. And we are sitting here and fighting. Oh, 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 oh. oh I, I need to make this. I need to make this. I need to press this. I need to do that. They are necessary, but digital products will 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 will, will let will make will help you to work less, but still make money. That's why I wanted to encourage you guys. I don't know what you want to do. If you want to learn how to create SVG files, if you want to learn how to create some templates, if you want to learn how to create coloring pages, or if you want to do print on demand and all those things, worksheets and all those things, but look for something to do. That's what I wanted to say today because I see people fighting and doing this and doing this. I mean, like a, a, a printed sheet. You will sell it three 
uh, with an image on it like apprenticeship with an image on it we would tell it like um uh, um a sublimation sheet you, sheet you would sell it like um 275 or three dollars like sheets you sell for someone you, you have to ship it and all of it. that's good good if you if i get an order of like 20 sheets and stuff i will print it and send it send it but if the same image if you have an image and you put it on online as a digital file even when your sleep is being is, is making sales that's why even the if you don't know you need to check um etsy check it really closely with the files that are being sold the chinese are selling digital uh, files too um i have a shop on creative fabrica the chinese are selling um um, um african american designs on there that they stole because some of them you see that they copy it from someone the chinese are even selling digital files i i found a, a, a website on here it's from one of the uh, um asian countries if it's not philippines it's malaysia because i talk to those people malaysia they're selling svg files and they sell SVG and they have people creating for them and they sell it and they, they have membership that you can go in and pay them and stuff and people pay them and so many people here are not thinking for or, or selling digital of ours products but the people that their eyes are open they see hey we have we can work less and and make more money and and, and do other stuff in the meantime they they know it and they do it i've, I've talked too much already I've talked too much already. Okay, so I encourage you to uh, um, um, see what you can learn. I have um, I have classes. I have um, SVG classes, classes where you can use um, Inkscape to make SVGs, a uh, text SVGs, where I make uh, um, silhouette classes to make uh, text SVGs, how to make different uh, um, different files in silhouette studio i also have complicated ones for inkscape where i make faces and nose and all those stuff so if you're interested let me know in the comment section and i will send you the link but that's what i wanted to get off my heart even if you don't take my classes create a digital department digital products department for your business because if something happened even with the economy you will still have money coming in even when you don't ship out stuff that's what i wanted to say thank you so much and if you have questions let me know in the comment section and i will come there and um answer you and if you're interested in classes um in my classes let me know in the comments but um, make sure you you create some for yourself create some um, products for yourself to sell to make money for you while you're sleeping Thank you so much. Thank you, Tonya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys on the page. Thank you.